aviation show today in Jacksonville, and I run into another person <laughs> that's an aviation <laughs> guru who's been a citation guy and is now has a new baby. And his name is Mr. Wolf. Yeah. And tell me about your baby. Well, uh, this is an, it's an LX-7. It's originally a Lancer 4P fuselage, which didn't have a good safety record. And so they took off the wings, took off the whole tail, replaced it with, uh, with a, uh, a semi-elliptical wing, uh, new engine, new avionics, all uh, Garmin Touch stuff. And uh, the plane will do uh, lean of peak, 250 knots. Uh, 250? Yeah, yeah, and and, uh, uh, and you can go 260 if you want to run at Richard Peak, and it would be about 24 gallons an hour rich and about 17, 16 to 17 lean of peak. It's got air conditioning, it's got pressurization. The wings are thermally heated and the tail is thermally heated. It's got, uh, you know, alcohol windshield heated prop. It's got, uh, even the seats are electrically heated in the plane for winter. I go up to Maine in the winter, it's nice and that works good. It's got a range of 2,150 nautical miles because the wings- 2,100 yeah, nautical mile range? 2,150 nautical mile range if you can sit in the plane that long. <laughs> and, and it's, uh, so I can fly from here in Florida up to Maine to my home up there, shoot an approach, the weather's bad, I can come back to Florida and I'll stop. <laughs> it's ridiculous. That's I mean, incredible. It's, it's quite, a, quite a plane. I'll open it up, you can see the inside here a little bit. 2,100 miles. It's got a mile. parachute, by the way, it's got a parachute as well. So it's a BRS parachute on the back. This is incredible. Uh, it's all touchscreen Garmin, G3X. And, G3X yeah. and a 650. No, 750. 750, 750 yeah. And a little backup uh, um, Grand Rapids Technologies backup on that. And, uh, and about uh, 25,000 feet, you're about 8,000 in the cabin. If I'm flying it at 17 or 17.5, it's about uh, 3,500 feet uh, cabin altitude. So it's, uh, I'm liking it. It's really a good airplane. And it how brings, long have you uh, been in this now? Uh, about six months, seven six months. months, yeah. Okay. It's got Fowler flaps, so even though you can oh cruise it, you, you cruise at 250, approach speed if you're light on fuel is 72 knots, the V ref speed. So it's uh, 72 gonna, knots and it's got Fowler flaps. So yeah. the flaps extend beyond the wing yeah. to give you more lift yeah, and yeah, more drag. Double slotted Fowler flaps. Oh my goodness. Yeah, so it's a pretty sophisticated little airplane. It is. And it, uh, goes like hell. I had not known that these had this kind of capability. This is just, Ken, this is just wonderful, man. Yeah, and the only thing is getting into it, you gotta learn it. It's, uh, you gotta be a little bit limber, but you just get in like that. Okay, that's then, the one maneuver you have once, to do. Yeah, once you're in it, it's great. The wife has to get a little practice yet at it, but it, uh, it works, it really works good. Nice autopilot. It's got um, uh, stability augmentation. So if it gets too slow, too fast, too much banking, whatever, it straightens itself out of the level button. So it's, it's got, got envelope got, protection. Yeah, it's got envelope protection. It's got, uh, uh, you know, synthetic vision. It's got uh, um, flight path predictor, you know, whatever it is, it's got it. You can't name anything that's not on this machine. This is, um, I, I'm impressed. Yeah. I'm more than impressed. Yeah. And I had not known that this, and plane at this kind of capability. Air conditioning. It's it's all the comforts. Oh, what kind of engine is in it? It's a TSIO 550. A 550. E. Yeah, dual turbochargers. It has two separate electrical systems, um, and each 100 amp alternators. And so, if you're going to turn on the the wing and tail de ice, one of the alternators goes offline and just takes care of the uh, uh, the de ice system, uh -huh. and the other one runs the whole airplane. And with the two systems, the two independent buses and everything, the essential bus, the emergency stuff, is everything on the airplane except 
air, air conditioning and, and anti-ice. I mean, you don't lose anything in essence. But it's got yeah, all the so environmentals. Everything is everything is backed up on this on this uh, emergency and I bus. Note that it has side stick control. Yeah, a side stick, and it's uh, it's just it's quite and an airplane. I was you know. Instead of doing 180 knots in a Cirrus or a Bonanza or something, you're doing 235 down at 17.5, 250 at 25,000, and uh, 22, 23,000. And with the 550, I imagine the fuel flow is uh, 17. 16 to 17 an hour. Depends upon how much lean you go, lean a peak, you know. Uh -huh. And uh, so. And how uh, much fuel does it does 180 it gallons. Oh, and you got, uh, I'm just noticing yeah, you got speed, uh, brakes. speed yeah. brakes as well. Yeah. Here in the wing. Yeah. So it's, it's, it's got everything. It's very capable. Yeah, it's very capable. Here's, the Here's a demonstration of the speed yeah. brakes. So, so it's, even if you're at 25 and needing to get down oh, quickly. Oh, you get down fast, yeah. Yeah, so it's, uh, it's everything I have in the jet, uh, except instead of 105 gallons an hour, 16%. <laughs> Well, about 10%. <laughs> it's, it's, I didn't feel like I was stepping down, you know? Uh, you have not. Yeah. In capability to have the yeah. range of 2,000 miles. Yeah, 2150 is about Oh, right. my yeah. goodness. Yeah. And just take off and go, you know? Well, Ken, thank you again All for right, showing me your you. baby. This is just I'm wonderful. glad I bumped into you. you know? <laughs> so it's, uh, it's and, and the support's been great. You know, the people that are supplying, if I need parts or anything, it's they're very helpful for the local mechanic to, if something has to be fixed, you know. And it's got Garmin and it's got a Continental engine, so yeah. most of it's standard stuff anyway, yeah. you know. So well, you're definitely cool. going to have to take me up in it. Uh, you got it. <laughs>